Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the causes of oligohydramnios. Oligohydramnios is a condition in which there is decreased amount of amniotic fluid or liquor around the baby. Quantitatively on ultrasound, oligohydramnios may be defined as the maximum vertical pool of less than 2 cm or an amniotic fluid index of less than 5 cm or an AFI below 5th centile for the gestational age. There are many causes of oligohydramnios which, we'll, which we will discuss today but first of all I would recommend you to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. In order to study oligohydramnios as a case follow the links given in the i button on the top right corner of this video which will take you to the playlist of oligohydramnios. So first of all we will discuss the main causes of oligohydramnios. What are the eight main causes of oligohydramnios? Here we have a complete list. So first cause is that of the maternal diseases. Secondly, pregnancy complication. Thirdly, fetal complications. Four, structural causes. Five, utero-placenta insufficiency. Six, infectious causes. Seven, iatrogenic causes. And eight is that of idiopathic so what are the maternal diseases which cause oligohydramnios here we have a list of four main maternal causes four main maternal conditions and diseases which are responsible for decreased amount of lycra around the baby first is that of the hypertension means increased blood pressure secondly the chronic kidney diseases of the mother Third, diabetes insipidus, and then maternal dehydration. Now, which pregnancy complications cause the oligohydramnios? Here we have a list of three, met three pregnancy complications which are responsible for decreased amount of lycra. First of all, spontaneous rupture of membranes. Secondly, preterm premature rupture of membranes and the post-state pregnancy means more than 42 weeks of gestation. Now, what fetal complications cause the oligohydramnios? Basically, we have two main fetal complications which are responsible for oligohydramnios. First is that of the intrauterine growth retardation. Secondly, twin to twin transfusion syndrome TTTS. Now, what structural causes of the fetus are responsible for oligohydramnios? Here we have a list of the structural problems in the fetus which are responsible for oligohydramnios. And that include first of all bilateral renal agenesis or dysplasia which occur for example in the case of Porter syndrome. Here we have the Porter syndrome. Secondly, urethral obstruction is also responsible for oligohydramnios. Then the cystic dysplasia, then a syndrome called the Mackel Gruber syndrome and the Vectral syndrome which is basically a combination of the different uh, anomalies in the fetus that include the vertebral anomalies, the anal atresia, cardiovascular anomalies, the tracheoesophageal fistula, esophageal atresia, renal or radial anomalies and the limb defects. Now let us discuss the utero-placental insufficiency which results from certain conditions like diabetes, drug abuse, post-state pregnancy, certain cardiac conditions like high blood pressure, medical conditions that may cause the blood clot or in the cases where there are, there are developmental issues with the placenta. This utero-placental insufficiency results in the decreased amount of lycra. Now coming to the infectious causes of oligohydramnios. Certain congenital viral infections can also result in oligohydramnia. The most common among all is that of the CMV or cytomegalovirus. Coming to the iatrogenic cause of oligohydramnios, certain drugs are responsible for the decreased amount of lycra. Here we have a list. So first of all, ACE inhibitor means angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors like enalapril, lysinopril, captopril, etc. 
Other drugs which are responsible for oligohedramnios include the prostaglandin synthase inhibitors like indomethacin and ibuprofen, etc. Coming to the idiopathic cause of oligohedramnios, a specific percentage of uh, oligohedramnios is of no specific etiology. The medical term idiopathic comes from the Greek root idios or one's own and pathos means suffering or disease. So the literal meaning is something like a disease of its own or an illness that isn't connected to any particular cause. So idiopathic oligohedramnios means reduced emotive flicker due to unknown cause. Let us explain the complete list of oligohedramnios, which include first of all the maternal diseases, hypertension, chronic kidney diseases, diabetes, insipidus, maternal dehydration. Secondly, pregnancy complications, which include spontaneous rupture of membranes, preterm premature rupture of membranes, the post date pregnancy of more than 42 weeks. Then we may have certain fetal complications, which include the IOGR and TTTS. Certain structural causes, which include the bilateral renal agenesis or dysplasia, urethral obstruction, cystic dysplasia, Meckel Gruber syndrome, and Vectral syndrome. Then we may have the placental insufficiency or the infectious causes which include the congenital viral infections like CMV or we may have iatrogenic causes like ACE inhibitors or the prostaglandin synthase inhibitors like indomethacin and ibuprofen etc. In the end we may have certain idiopathic causes as well. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote and that is success is not accident, it is hard work perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. So thank you so much. May your hard work meet the best of your luck. Allah Hafiz.